will now talk about ECG <coughs> that is electrocardiogram or electrocardiograph which is also known as EKG. Let us now understand what is the difference between electrocardiogram and electrocardiograph. Electrocardiogram and electrocardiograph. Electrocardiogram is the graphical representation of the electrical activity which takes place on the wall of the heart. So this is actually a graph. We write it as graphical representation of electrical activity. on the walls of heart. That means whatever activity is taking place on the wall of the heart, it is graphically recorded. And I'm sure you have seen that strip of paper on which the graph is made. So many a times we get a strip of paper and on this strip of paper we find this graph which is something like this. We will talk about this when we come to the actual interpretation of this. So this is the graph paper and that is known as electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram word is used for the paper, the graphical representation. And electrocardiograph is used for the machine. Many a times people get confused that electrocardiograph, because graph is written here, it should be the graphical representation. But it is just the reverse. Electrocardiograph is the machine and electrocardiogram is that graphical representation of the activity. Now this machine, it was discovered by Enthoven. But the first ECG was recorded by another scientist, Waller. So the machine was discovered by Anthoven, but first ECG, that is this representation, graphical representation was recorded by Waller using the machine which was developed by Anthoven. Now before we actually take up this graph and talk about various peaks which we get, we need to understand what exactly are we talking about when we say electrical activities. We know that the impulse which travels on the walls of the heart is in the form of a charge movement which is like current. So we will understand what exactly is going to happen and we will use certain terms to understand them first. And when we talk about graph, we will say P wave represents this particular thing. And that's why we want to understand the basic things first. Now, in normal condition, when we are talking of normal, that means here we are talking of relaxed condition. That means when the muscle is relaxed, at that time, the situation is that it is electropositive on the outer side and electronegative on the inner side. This is out, this is in. This condition is known as polarized because one end has one charge, the other end has opposite charge. So here we call this membrane as polarized. As soon as this gets a stimulus. Say the stimulus is received here. What is going to happen next? That is in the next situation is this is electropositive here, electronegative on the inner side. Now the positive charge is going to move in because of the channels which open and here it becomes positive on the inner side and negative on the outer side. The other areas are same. 
electro positive on the outer side electro negative on the inner side charges have shifted they are still polar that means one end is positive other end is negative but originally when it was in relaxed state we called it polarized this condition is termed as depolarization this is called depolarization depolarization means reversal of charge so in normal situation resting situation it is polarized and when it receives a stimulus it gets depolarized after depolarization the charge is going to move and the charge movement is by loop it get attracted here and this would come here so it will keep moving after this what's going to happen is this change that is depolarization is going to shift we say it is moving that is conduction of impulse and the next situation is after this let us draw the same thing here and see what is going to happen it was electro positive at two places on the outer side electro negative here now we said the change took place here and the next situations were same but the conduction is taking place that means this positive is going to move here and this is going to come here that means this will become positive this negative this is positive this is negative that means the depolarization from position 3 has moved to position 4 original situation we called it polarized when the charges flip we call it depolarized and when these charges come back to their original form, that means outside is positive, inside is negative, then we call it repolarization. Now, when do these things take place? When SA nodes generates the stimulus, there would be this movement that is going to take place. So, we say that there is going to be depolarization. And then the compartments are going to relax. That means the charges are coming back to their normal position. We call it repolarization. That means when we interpret the ECG, that is the graph, we use terms like auricular polarization. What is going to mean, uh, what will be mean by this word polarization? That means the stimulus has been generated and now the wave of contraction is going to get conducted. <clears throat> or we would use ventricular polarization. That means the impulse has been generated or it has been received by the ventricles and now they are going to contract. And when we use the term say ventricular repolarization, that means we are talking about relaxation. Ventricles are going to relax. So for these we already have other terms. The other terms which we use for these auricular polarization can also be termed as auricular systole that is contraction. Ventricular polarization would be ventricular systole and ventricular repolarization would be ventricular diastole. So, when we interpret this graph, when we talk of PQRST waves, we would be using these terms. And now we know what exactly is meant by depolarization word. When the muscle is relaxed, it is polarized. Outer side has positive charge, inner side has negative charge. Whenever it receives a stimulus or the stimulus is generated, in case of heart, it is getting generated at SA node. So whenever there is a stimulus, there is this change of ions or charges which is going to take place. And this charge moves like a current. And that is why this graph or this interpretation is known as the electrical activity. So when it receives the stimulus, it gets depolarized. Then the charge is going to move in the form of loop. We will call it conduction of impulse. 
After that, it gets repolarized. That means the charges are going to be coming back to the normal uh, way. That is, outer is going to be positive, inner is going to be negative. The term we would use it for, uh, use for this is repolarization, and this is when the relaxation of that particular compartment would be taking place. And we will use the word repolarization or diastole. So now, in the next part, we would see what exactly is in the normal ECG and using these terms, we would label it.